This is what it's like when police officers encounter Karens on duty. You smell like egg rolls. Get off me! Or you going to get taken? Our first case takes us to Portage County, Ohio. Officers were called to deal with a report of a woman fighting McDonald's employees over a slushie. By the time officers arrived, they caught the tail end of the fight between the employees and 44-year-old Sharice Cleveland. Luckily for us, this man caught the whole thing on camera. This is what went down a few minutes earlier. Get out! Touch me! Are you crazy? Okay, don't touch me! Don't leave! 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 Why exactly was Sharice fighting these McDonald's employees? Well, she asked for a slushie with all three flavors mixed into one. When the manager informed her that they couldn't do that, she decided to go behind the counter and do it herself. And that's when the fight started. She gets thrown to the ground and receives multiple punches to the face. Yet despite the beating and the hair pulling, Sharice still has some fight in her. So what did she have to say for herself after turning a morning at McDonald's into a trip to jail? What did they do, mess up an order or something? What's going on? Why are you so pissed? Because it was so simple. All I wanted was a slushie. Okay. That's all I wanted was a slushie. You got anything on you that's going to poke me, sick me, hurt me? No. Nothing? No. Just your card? My card. Nothing under your dress? Nothing under my dress. All right. Let's have a seat. Okay. So all you wanted was a slushie. That's all I wanted was a slushie. And then what happened? How did how did then, it get physical? And then she was like, "Well, we can't serve you." Why why couldn't they serve you? Did they give you a reason? No, no reason. Okay. They just said they couldn't serve me. And you got upset. And I got upset. And you just went in and served and I it. I just went in and started going in. Okay. Sharice Cleveland was charged with two counts of misdemeanor assault. Her bond was set at $1,000, and she's facing up to 180 days in jail and a fine of up to $1,000 if found guilty. Our next case takes us to Florida. This time, officers are forced to deal with a different breed of Karen. On the 18th of February, 2022, officers received a complaint about some men hanging out around a seawall, potentially smoking marijuana. So an officer was dispatched to investigate. Little did he know, he was about to come face to face with a Karen who fancies himself a First Amendment auditor. Hey, how you doing? Good. Well, no. City employee calls. All right. You 
saying you guys are smoking weed, so. Right or what? So tired. We're all going to get soon. You're all going to get fired. Okay. He says you're smoking weed. I don't know. I I'm don't here know. to check I'm it not. out. Am I? Can you smell it? Off. So I'm trying to figure out what the off and die. Okay. What's your problem? I I have a problem with you because you're. Did you talk to the city? Did you talk to the city? To the city every time I watch. Just talk to the city employee today, though. I talk to any employee today. Okay. What city employee? I don't know. One of the rec center employees called me. Yeah. He came out and talked to you. So he came out and him. talked to me. A rec center employee. No, he wanted me to come out and talk to you. Oh yeah. Just trying to figure out if he's already talked to you and addressed it. That's all. I don't know why. Leave me alone. Stop following me. Stop following me. You're stalking me. I'm Am I being car. detained? Good. Go back to your car. Smells like marijuana. I smell like marijuana because I have a f marijuana uh, uh, thing and I smoke marijuana every day. You have a medical marijuana card? Yeah, I do. Okay. Then that's fine. That's all you yeah. have to say. You smell like f***ing egg rolls. You f and fish sauce. You racist. Those comments and you want to call me racist. Good job, Blair. Yeah. All right. The shockingly agitated man is 53-year-old Blair Houston. He's got a bone to pick with the police department, and he's ready to make his grievances known. Have a good day. He gave me a misdemeanor that was trumped up charges four days later because you're bouncing to the, the beat of the f***ing chief of police who's a piece of and the mayor who's a piece of and you're a piece of by association. You wrote me that ticket. You're a scumbag bad cop. That's what you are. You deal with that ticket in court, sir. I dealt with the ticket in court. Then we're done, then. Because you're a piece of liar, and you okay. lied. Okay. You said I obstructed justice. You said you were taking the keys from me. You asked for my keys of the boat. Bull You asked me if I had insurance. I didn't ask you. You that. didn't ask me if I had keys. You're a liar. Get out of my face, piece of Next time you're going to cause a disturbance, I'm going to take quick sort of conduct. They might want to stop because yeah, other people are getting a breach of the peace. As as no, you can't. You can't yell out in public. You can't yeah, cause a disturbance. Can't. So, give you a warning for this one. Have a good day. Blair didn't get in trouble for the marijuana, but he was guilty of a different offense. You see that little dog he's carrying with him? Well, he's about to receive a citation for having it off its leash. This time, one of his buddies shows up. Another self-proclaimed First Amendment auditor. <laughs> happening to have people and to gather people up that aren't vaccinated and throw them in camp, would you do that? Would you do that? Would, would you would. disobey a direct order? Come on, give us an answer. Even if it's against if, the Constitution. If you go against the Constitution if you're directed to it. You don't, you know. don't know? That's a bad offer. Oh my you're, God. You are sworn oh. duty to the Constitution. Do you realize that? Constitution. You took an oath God, to the Constitution. God, country, not, not core. You, you didn't take an oath to your higher up. God, you country, core. You understand how uh, our rights are being eroded right now? And that you are you are a tool to erode our rights, and you're supposed to be a tool to uphold our rights. You yeah. understand that? And you're being used. So why so why would you hold your shoulders up and shrug? Uh, you don't know what you would do. Uh, so you because would take, you want to internment camps and burn them, too. Oh. You think they could be killed. Oh, wow. No, let's go into that. Yeah, that's exactly oh, wow. how it's happening. Dude. This, this, yeah. this is it. They spend most of their time trying to antagonize the officer and goad him into saying something that would implicate him in their First Amendment audit. They spend the rest of the time complaining that the citation is taking too long. Well, I get that on, right? This is for a dog leash. Or he just wanted me to wait around for a dog leash. You're going to block this guy getting the boat. Well, so he has a dog right? on camera because I let him off the leaf, uh, let him out of my arms for a second. So I'm not allowed to stand there with a dog in my arms. I can't stand it here in the sun. I'm going to go stand here. With your permission. Do I have your permission? Oh, exalted one cops we're supposed to bow down to because you're so afraid and, ooh, important. Who doesn't even know? Who doesn't even know the order of priority? God, country, establishment, whatever. Core. Police Who doesn't know the order, Blair? 
The belly aching goes on for some time. Blair even tries calling 911 on the police officers at one point. So to get his boat in here, now he has to do it ahead of you guys. You got to be jerked. And, 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 and holding up the road. 20 minutes. Right this ticket, dude. Do good about leaving this guy here the whole time. Ruining his day. Taking away 20 minutes of his time. Good job. No, no he's are. not. <laughs> <laughs> this is a retaliatory right ticket for taking his dog. Ticket. For dog off the leash for two seconds. He's writing me a dog leash ticket, bro. Blair, call 911 and tell him you're being illegally uh, detained right now. I'm calling 911. I'm telling him it's been 15 minutes that you've been detained by the police for simple simple It's been 25 minutes. This isn't going to turn out well for you, Yen. You want to sign a citation? Five people waiting. Oh, now it is. Now he calls 911. Now they want to give it to you. Oh, now they're now giving me the ticket. ticket. Oh, now you're they're a giving me the ticket. Man. I want a record of this. You're a scumbag. All right, Mr. Chief, I'll be with you in a minute. I'm on the phone. If you're on the phone with 911, it's not an emergency call, sir. It is an emergency call. You are illegally detaining me, sir. I'm going to explain to you the first time. Please don't apologize, sir. I'm afraid for my life. Now you've been waiting. It's going to be a misuse of 911 if you continue to use 911 services. Now you can hang out. No, you're making it. You've been illegally detained. You've been warned. I hung up. I hung up. I hung up as soon as you told me that. I complied. Come on over here, you can sign your citation. Why don't you come over yeah, here? Hung up the phone now. I, I prefer I do a right over here. Even with the citation given, Blair and his friends aren't quite satisfied yet. Three, so that's why I wanted to that's make sure I got right for you and I didn't want to overcharge you. Yeah. All right, so you're sir. not right. You don't know what this you're the first doing. Amendment. You had to change you it because you don't know what you're doing. Our paperwork right, so was a little updated, so. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, they reduced the charge now? Yes, they right, reduced the fine now to $60 Blair. instead of 93 oh, All right. The government? Okay, did you hear what he just said? You want to move your car out of the road now? They the the fine for dog walking used to be... You want to get your car out of the road now? You want to get your car out of the road now? Are we done? You're violating 316. Get your car out of the road. You can now move it. And with that, the Blair was the 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 went on his merry way, with a citation for $60 for having his dog off its leash. Our next case is also in Florida. On the 17th of August, 2022, officers were called to a restaurant to remove a woman causing a disturbance. Okay, the manager of this establishment is asked you to leave the business. Okay, you need to turn and walk out the door. Love, the manager of this business is an idiot. That may be, but you gotta go it right is, now. Turn around is. and start walking, man. Turn around. Come on, you don't want to go to jail. Walk out. Go ahead. Come on, walk. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Come on, just turn around and walk out. I know. Are you go kidding? ahead and walk out. Come on. Come on, start walking. For what reason? Manager's under arrest. arrest. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. Hands behind your back. Turn around. Turn around. You're under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. Stop resisting. You're under arrest. Get your hands off. Get your I don't do requests. Get your hands off me. Jupiter 968. 968. Get your hands off me. I'll be 1015. Get friends. your hands off me. Signal 80. Signal 51. And all right, without, if I can get a cage car. Get your hands off me. She was exactly as cooperative as you'd expect. As the officers lead her out of the establishment, her friends come to the rescue. She's got to deal with a friend. Mm -hmm. She's being arrested. You have to stay over here with me. Okay, why? Well, we told her to leave. She was trespassed by management, and then she attempted to push through the police officer and myself, so she, now she's being placed under arrest for resisting arrest and trespass. Look at this! What's in the Doreen, look at this! Guys, come on. Ma'am, you gotta stay here. Ma'am. Ma'am. No, don't tell me what to do. I'm don't telling you what to do. Yeah, don't walk over here. Yeah, yeah. Don't walk over here. Look how tiny Nathan stuff. Look what he's doing to me. Look, he's cutting off my circulation. He's twisting don't walk my arm. Because don't I told walk any closer. Because I told the manager I wasn't any happy any with the way it was. I'm not inferring anything. You're welcome Record. to stand on the sidewalk. Record. It already is being recorded. Record it. Record it. There he because is. I told the manager that I wasn't happy with the waiters gossiping. 
when we, we were asking for our salt and pepper and they were standing there talking she together. Went arrested. And I she was been arrested because she wouldn't leave the business and after she was told to leave. That's why. Right. You're cutting under my arrest. No. You pulling on You're this cuff? You pulling on this cuff is why it's hurting. You're cutting my circulation. My son is a state trooper. Come on. Are you kidding me? Why? Okay. Would you mind pulling her phone? Don't hurt her. Are you really gonna I'm not hurting her. No. Her pulling on these cuffs is what's hurting her. They try her. their best to argue for her freedom, but that doesn't get them very far. After she was told to leave by management, so she's being arrested for failure to leave upon trespass and resisting arrest. Can you just, can you let her go? She didn't understand what was going she on. She understood. She was given multiple warnings and told to leave. I mean, I mean, that's no, a, let that's it go, offense. because I can't, I can't wait. And you're going to do this to your restaurant? Yeah. You know what? We're going to post everything on Facebook. Okay. Yeah, You're more than welcome to. Take a picture of us, okay? Oh my gosh, this take a picture of us. Yeah. I've been taking wow. pictures. Yeah. yeah. Really. I got them. It's, it's like, six this six warrants weeks. being arrested? Are you I'm kidding? Yep. Having dinner together. With I, are you, uh, who are you? Who are you? The owner? The manager? No, I'm the security supervisor for Prime. Yeah, well, that's fine. You're really Honey, Alexa's is going to be stranded if I don't pick her up. I am so sorry. That's why I once we get a female officer here, I need a double lock. Then we also gotta get the purse off. Yeah. This is what we pay our police for. I paid I mean I mean this is this is a grandmother and mother. Come on guys. I mean we have a unit. Go over to this side of the car, okay? The back and forth goes on for a while, and at some point she gets tired of standing around and wants to get the arrest over with. So why are we standing here? Let's get a show on the road. So he just pulled up. We need a female to come over here. Uh, I'm, a male is not going to touch you. Well, this is, I am in public. So why is this all happening in public? The you officer, want to, you want, you want no, the officer said he's going to take me into the police station. So let's go. You I don't know why down. I'm standing out here. This will go in the history book, okay? I hope you're getting a good record of this. Yeah. This way I get for complaining about bad service not, to a bad manager. That's not, that's not what happened. That's exactly, you leave. that's exactly what happened. Yes, but it's And not, I, I am going to just see this all the way through. It, I am it's a so private, glad. It's a private establishment. So they can kick anybody out for anything. Yeah, they can kick anyone safe, out for anything. Stay safe with this? Are you kidding? There's no safety here. This is a communist country this kind of treatment. Still, she hasn't learned her lesson and continues to be quite uncooperative with the officers, much to her own detriment. Do you want to keep your jewelry on you? They're going to remove all these. Why? For what reason? Why, why would you think I'd be kidding? I don't know. I don't know. They're going to take all this when you go into the jail, so that's why I'm asking you. Doreen! No, Doreen can't come over here until I, I give her permission to come over. Yeah. Would you be okay with turning that over? You want to strip me? Take my clothes, too. Not take yes my clothes, too. No. Okay, take my shoes, take my clothes, take everything. The bracelet and jewelry is an option, okay? You think about it. This is how you treat a law-abiding citizen. Someone who works for the community. Hmm? This is how you treat I explained it to you, didn't I? I heard everything you said. I've been nothing but respectful to you, correct? These handcuffs on me. Having my beyond strip for me is not respectful to me. Having me stand out here in public handcuffed because I complained about the weight step is not it's respectful. Not that is the problem. Well, I explained to you why you're being arrested. Let's go. What are, what are we waiting for? Yes, Let's go. Yes, do paperwork. While I'm standing out there? I, I asked you if you wanted to sit down. I want to go. To absolutely nobody's surprise, when it actually came time to leave, she continued to be stubborn. Here. Take this off. You know. No. no, we're not taking them off. Sit down. You said you wanted to go, right? Are we going now? Yeah. Shortly, but you have to sit in the car, okay? Tell my church to come, but I'm all at church. Tell them to come again. Tell Mary to bring everybody. Bring everybody from church. Carol, 
Carol, you need to sit in the car. Everybody, tell everybody. Carol, to come. we're not. We're not. We're, we're. Carol, come on. Tell him to bring everybody now. Watch your head. On their way out, the arresting officers met with a female officer, so they needed to bring her down and conduct a proper search. You can probably already tell how it went. I asked to be driven back to the public place where I was, instead of being in the secluded area where none of my friends and nobody can see me. I do not feel safe here, and I have been saying, I have been- You know, a police officer with you. Are you kidding me? The police officer who put handcuffs on me and twisted my arm because I complained about the wait staff. No, I don't. I don't feel safe here and I want to be in a public place. Would you like to just deal with me only? I have nothing to do with this situation. I'm a female to female. I can just handle it. I'm asking to step back. They told me they were pretty good. I'm literally trying to be nice. I would have missed option you would ever run into. I swear to God, I'm trying to be patient. I'm trying to be nice and crazy. Okay, but I'm sorry to put yourself into this situation. Nobody else did anything. Okay. Take your right leg and step out. I'm trying. I asked him. They asked you multiple times to come out by yourself, and you're not doing it. So now I'm gonna have to help you. Yeah. I asked to go into. Step out. We're, we're done with all this. Step out of the car. You're done with all of what? Trying right. to negotiate with you. Right. Come out. Come on. Well, you're under arrest right now. You have to cooperate with our no. booking procedure. Once again, the officers have to force her to comply. I'm not cooperating. No, ma'am. No. I need to come out. Take that right leg. Austin, do you want to pull her out that way? You want us to pull you across the car? You're not going to push me. Perfect. You're not going to prod come me. Come you're not going to twist my fucking like you are now. Eric, you're just what kind relax. of a man Darryl, are you? What kind of a man Darryl, is take a, breath. a woman relax. like that? Get the you're off my You're tensing arm. and bracing your arms. You're twisting your hands. I'm not f arm. holding your arms so you get, get under the control. Off my arm. I'm in the head. What take kind a of a man are you? I hate you. What are you pushing my hair up for? I need to check your hair. This is how they treat a woman, a mother, a grandmother, a teacher, a therapist, a law-abiding citizen who goes to church. Get the f*** out my bra! Come on, Get come off on, me! Come on. Yeah, let me put my hands all over you. Tell Carol, me. Carol, Take it Carol. easy. All you need to do is Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Help me! Help me! Help me! <laughs> Help me! So we put those on. Stop me! Listen, she's up. Okay, we're gonna. You're gonna put change. Okay. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm first. gonna borrow yours. Okay. We're gonna just keep those on. When you're done, just swap it. Do it on this search. Oh, man. Did you find anything? Like you, you got I didn't feel anything. Yeah. Okay. So. A teacher, right. a mother, okay. a grandmother, okay. this is what they're doing. We're going to transport you shortly. Have a seat. Have a seat. Come on, sit down. Turn around. Why? Otherwise, you'll push me down. Push you down. Get off my arm. If you start flailing around, I'm going to have to hold your arm again, okay? Okay, there you go. Now keep up your end of it. Sit down. I want to go directly to the police station this time, no instead of sitting that. here Carol, in a secluded Carol. area. She was ultimately taken to the police station, just like she wanted, and was charged with resisting arrest and trespassing. If found guilty, she's looking at either up to one year in jail or one year on probation and a fine of up to $2,000. Our final case, just like the last two, also took place in Florida. On the 12th of January, 2023, officers responded to a vehicle collision involving three parties. Two Two drivers and one passenger. At first, it seemed like this would be a routine investigation. At first. Okay, where's the dentist your vehicle? Um, so he sideswiped the sidewalk, and we got rear-ended by a semi, and we're already in the works of that. Okay. And then he smashed into it again, which damaged this, put the freaking nasty-ass cut in our bumper in our. Is that where the legs merge over there? Yeah. Yeah, hold on. So, the first point of impact was where? 
Right here, on the side. Oh. So where do you hit you at first? Back right here. here. Yeah, right back here. Side swipe. Okay, so when when he side swipes you, these guys are continuing in motion forward, both of y'all. Yeah, and then okay. we want to go slow down uh -huh. because we're like, what well, we need is insurance. He just does. Right. And then so we go to slow down, and then boom. Yeah, you hit us about thirty or forty. Yeah, yeah. See you, buddy. Like, it was a hard Do you hit. have a driver's license? No, I do not. Do you have any information that I can get so I can put you on the uh, report? Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Bye. You should go to jail for reckless driving. Oh, oh, they were in the merge lane? So, you know, right there, when you come into the other side, yeah. you get to merge. Yeah. So, they're merging. And instead of him slowing down, because he's got the point of right the front. Yeah, he doesn't have to. Huh? He doesn't have to. So if, basically, if you're ahead of me and I'm in the straight through lane, mm -hmm. this is my lane. Uh -huh. You have to slow down and go behind me. Okay. There's no law that says I have to slow down and let you over. He has the right to keep going. Okay. So if they merged over and there was a connection, there could be. Okay. The officer's assessment of the situation was correct. She was completely at fault and failed to follow proper traffic rules, leading to her car getting hit. A quick interview with the other driver only solidifies this fact. Can you just tell me what happened? He decides, I guess, that he doesn't want to merge behind me. Yeah. So he just guns it. Like, I don't like really expecting to do, but he just, like, you know, he's parallel with me and he, he just bumps me in the side, okay. right? And then so like, so I kind of slow down a little yeah. and he jumps, he guns and jumps in front of me. Okay. And it slams on his brakes and then I rear end him. Okay. And he immediately jumps out of the car and like, just like starts coming at me. Like here's his like, he's like slammed his hand. Like, like, so the, oh. the male half was driving, not the female? I'm not sure who, uh, yeah, he was driving. Okay. I'm, well, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, actually, no, I actually, no, I'm not sure who okay. was driving. Um, quick question. So after you guys had the initial impact, the, the, what happened with the whole slamming on the brakes thing? Well, we had to slow down so yeah. that way we could get his insurance information. We didn't slam on the brakes. We were slowly Did he impact down. you? Oh, like, yeah. I, okay. Well, he f like, I almost hit the steering wheel and oh. he almost flew into the dash. Okay. That's how f hard it was. That's I mean, we so, so like how soon did you get in front of him? Did you guys start slowing down? So we didn't go in front of him. We were trying yeah. to merge over. Yeah. And then he decided to step on the gas. Okay. Like I literally saw his rear end go up. Okay. And he went to go and try and pass us and squish us over okay. and sideswiped us. Yeah. Okay. And and you were driving not this gentleman? Yes, sir. Okay. Midnight. Yeah. Alright. Alright, hang tight. Yeah, they're definitely gonna be a fault. Okay. I just stand by because they're, they're feet mm -hmm. here right now. I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you that portion, and okay. I'll take care of him, and then we'll we'll move from there. Okay. Because yeah, because they look like they're just gonna act out. This officer's hunch is also about to be proven correct because the female driver seems to think she's in the right, and neither she nor her passenger want to hear otherwise. All right, Miss Reyes. Okay. Reyes. Reyes. I'm sorry. So. Unfortunately, you are going to be found at fault for the crash. All right. I know why? you're from uh, give me Georgia. Generally, laws are the same everywhere. That's why you can go from here to Florida. Speed limit signs look the same. You know, field or uh, yield signs look the same. Stop signs, all that such. So, in the state of Florida, if you're in a merge lane, someone's in the straight through lane, they have the right of way. Which means it doesn't matter that he sped up. You slow down and you get behind them. The fact that you sped up and crossed over. We didn't speed up to cross over. No, we were okay. saying the same speed. He's what did he say? You said okay. you put him on the car? No. Oh, so like, even even if you did that, gonna you. you don't do that because I will arrest you. No, no, next yeah, word out of your good. mouth, better just oh, be quiet. Oh, oh, I have freedom of speech. speech. No, that's oh. a threat. No, it's that not. is a threat. No, threat. I tell you what. T tell you what. Hold this. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Nope. You, uh, you nope. resist, you will get tased. I'm telling you that right now. Put your hands. I haven't done nothing wrong. Two five, send me another unit. Put your hands. Put your hands behind your back. You're going to get tased. You're skinny, bro. Stop. Put your hands behind your back now. Put your hands behind your back, or you're gonna get tased. I'm not gonna give you another warning. Stop resisting. Resisting, or you're gonna get tased. 
we work well, for? I don't care. Know, we'll dude, I will job. have your job. What's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge number, huh? Turn around. Huh? What's your name and badge number? Turn around. Okay. Please do it, man. Okay. Please. Man, What's your name and badge that number? Bag, man. Okay, stop I think, moving. I, I think I wish you would take off that okay. badge, man. And do what? what? I think, are you threatening me? No, no, I think I wish okay. you would. Okay. I wish you would take off that badge. Shut up. I wish you would. What's your name and badge number? She continues to film and ignore the officer's orders, still thinking they're in the right somehow. I got you. Yeah. Ma'am, ma'am, what's your name and badge number? Lucas, 2031. I don't even You just told me you're I hope you have that on recording. Oh, I do. Oh, I hope you do. Okay. Man, I wish you'd take off that goddamn belt, boy. Ooh, keep threatening. Never charge. No, oh, no, that ain't threat. It's a that freedom of speech, sir. It is not freedom of speech. Yes, it is. It is a First Amendment right. Go over there. Now. Go what? Oh, watch. I'll have this man in the back. Go in my car. Yes, you are. Oh, Go in my car. Go in my car. Go in my car. Go in my car. And I'm gonna have, have your whole department. You're so overwhelmed, my guy. You're so overwhelmed. Have a seat. That's it. That's it, mama. We're calling the Here you go. I know. I'm going to the car, but I need my cigarette. You're going to jail. No. You are being I placed have, under arrest. I have money. Turn around, but then I don't care. I'm going to give him 1033. No, he's not. Mama. Put your hands behind the back. Mama! Where's your hands behind the back? Check for all units, we'll have an outfit 1053 for 2513 until I can devise an airport. Do you have a I'm going for this. You cannot get out of my property. He's attending the second uh, white female. Thanks to their actions, they've got a little bit more to worry about than a scratched up car. Your dog's going to the Simmel County Pound, all right? Your car is going to be towed, and you are going to jail for resisting. You have any questions? Yeah, have okay, any have a day. No, not when you threaten me. Yo, I didn't even threaten you, bro. Okay. I'm gonna have your badge. Okay. That's all everything. The man was charged with simple assault threat, simple assault on an officer, and resisting without violence. He's looking at up to two years in jail, or one year and 18 months on probation and a fine of $2,000 if found guilty. The woman was only charged with one count of resisting without violence. If she's found guilty, she could spend one year in jail or 12 months probation and receive a fine of $1,000. Click the video on screen and watch as I delve further into more cases.